Hey guys, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. I have been teasing this video for a little bit about my new speakers, and I, I guess you could probably imagine what they are. Um, they're these magnificent uh, clips horns that I've got back here. Um, got them a few, well, almost a week ago. Uh, so, kind of the story goes if, if you didn't catch my uh, a couple videos back, I got the this new equipment, got the Macintosh stuff and the uh, basses turntable. But when I got that stuff, uh, you know, I bought a, a jazz collection from somebody. And when I went to go buy the collection, they had all this incredible gear. Um, and I, you know, was like, obviously like, hey, you know, is this gear for sale? And the lady uh, said that her husband was part of like an audiophile group and he'd passed away. And there were some friends of the audiophile group that wanted to come in and evaluate the stuff so she'd get a good, honest price for it so i let them come in test everything and give her values for everything and then i came back in and uh bought a bunch of stuff from her so uh after i got all the gear i brought it home uh before i got the speakers and i plugged it into my my tower speakers that i had which were pretty good speakers but i could tell they just weren't they weren't driving the power uh that they could you know they were not reaching the full potential of this stuff and so i was like man i gotta upgrade these speakers you know i've got to get something that's you know on the same level as this stuff and i had a ton of people comment you got to get some clip horns you got to get some clip horns with if you're not familiar with the clip horn uh with this macintosh gear it's the match made in heaven. It's an incredible combo of equipment. Klipsch horns are uh, legendary loudspeakers uh, built by Paul Klipsch in 1946. Um, it has been in production ever since. It's kind of a staple in the audio file community. Uh, really great sound speakers. But uh, as I started doing research on them, I realized they had to be in corners. You know, they have to be in the corner to get the full sound and the full you know, uh, experience the corners where they need to be because that's kind of part of uh, the sound. It, the way that the speakers are built is to go into a corner and then the sound comes out of the back and kind of fills the room. So if you don't have them in, a cor in a corner, you're really missing out on a lot of that, uh, a lot of that sound and the, the full experience of it. So I knew that the room I had, I could not fit them in. So I was like, forget it, I can't get them. And man, it was gnawing at me knowing that these clip horns were over there and I, nobody else knew it, but a bunch of people were like, if you can find some clip horns, and it's like in the back of my head, and I'm like, man, I got to get over there and get those things. I don't know what I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to have them. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I got to get these clip horns. So um, I talked to the lady, and, and she said, you know, we, we kind of made a deal over the phone for them, because uh, she was kind of having a hard time finding somebody to buy them, because they're so big. And uh, I went in my son's room and measured... <laughs> His, his room was one room over from my record room, kind of measured some things, and I'm like, they would fit in here if I could talk him into switching rooms with me. So luckily it didn't take too much convincing. As soon as I said it, I said, hey son, you know, would you want to switch rooms with me and trade? And he, he was like, yes, because he loves that room. You know, the room I was in was more of like a long, narrow room, and his is more square shaped. So uh, he jumped at the chance, and uh, my wife allowed it so we came in here and we switched rooms and uh, I went and got the clip horns and the rest is history but uh, clip horns are just like a really incredibly built speaker you know I've, I've heard a lot of people say that you know they're the best you can get without spending you know hundreds of thousands of dollars on speakers and I would believe it uh, when I got them in here the other day for the first time and I hooked them up to the system uh, I literally I've never been driven to tears by a piece of music, but I was like, it was close, man. I, I it, it really blew me away. It was a, such an emotional experience. Like, well, first of all, it was so hard to make this happen. Like, it was so hard to get everything to move rooms, and I put so much into making sure I got these speakers and hooked them up to my system. And when I did, man, and I and I plugged them in, and and they worked right off the bat everything was perfect didn't have to fiddle with anything you know and man it just the, the sound is absolutely phenomenal on these things i could not be happier now i will say um you know i this room is still small 
you know, it's a smaller room, and you'll see that. Uh, but they fit in here, so that's great. Uh, the speak the corners are a little bit funky, so the corners could be better. And the spe you know, you kind of need a bigger room with a little bit higher ceilings to experience what they're really supposed to sound like. Uh, but uh, I'm in the room that I'm in for now, and we do have plans uh, to move into a bigger house um, here in the next year or two. Over, we got some land and we're going to build on, so that is kind of the future plans for us. So this is not a permanent situation, but for now, I mean, the sound quality is amazing. I, I can only imagine what it would be like when I put them in the appropriate room so I can hear them you know uh, the be at their best you know so these are I from the research I've done I believe that they are uh, late 80s early 90s uh, clip horns they uh, are in really good shape the guy that had this stuff was meticulous he took care of everything really well um, and I'm going to kind of show you my system and play them for you for just a little bit but to kind of give you some scale you know I'm, I'm, I'm not standing up here I'm sitting in a chair but these rascals it's like when I got them, in this, like, I had to move these up the stairs by myself. They're 167 pounds. I did take the tops off, you know, but they were a beast to move up here. But, man, I, I just got to say they're, they, the sound is impeccable. I mean, with all the equipment and everything, the tube amp, the 275 makes a huge difference. But um, I'll go ahead and let you listen to a little bit, and I'll kind of walk you through the system that i got right now. So you walk in the door, and this is the setup. Um, it's not a huge room. I'm not ready to do a room tour yet just because I got to get some things in order and I'd like to hang some things that I've, I got framed and I'm working on framing, but this is it. Like I said, I know it's a super small room, um, for a system this big, but you can still hear how incredible it sounds. Uh, these are the clip horns. Yeah, they're massive and they sound massive and they're great. Just, uh, yeah. So those are those. This is the turntable that I'm running. This is a Basis 2001. It's got a vector tone arm and a Benz SM. This is the Macintosh MA6500 receiver. Love it. The only thing uh, wrong with it is the lights are burned out, so I've got to get those replaced. Other than that, we're totally good. And this is my Macintosh 275 tube amp. It is a beast, and I absolutely love it. It adds so much sound. Um, and there's my other clip horn over there. It's killer. So I'm going to play something for you real quick on it just so you can hear it. And I know that it's not going to do it any justice because you're watching it on YouTube, on the Internet. And it's not, you know, really, you're not here to hear it. But So this this is playing as one of the only records that I have that is, doesn't have, you know, any copyrights to it. So I won't get in any trouble. This is an unknown acetate. Bought a record collection, and this was in it. Uh, it's by a band called Wilderness. Don't know anything about it. Have never found anything about this. But this is a cover of Mandrel's uh, Mandrel. So, anyways, this is so you can just hear a little bit. Like this is not the most audiophile record you'll ever hear. Uh, this is not, you know, this is just, it, it doesn't know justice. But just to hear a little bit, might as well. I sort of hesitate to call myself an audiophile. I always say I'm not an audiophile, but I'm not an audiophile, but you know, but I think I might be now. I think the reason why a lot of people hesitate to call themselves audiophiles is because you get this picture in your head when you hear somebody's an audiophile of like, oh, well, do you have the 45 RPM 200 gram blah, 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 of this uh, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's it can be pretentious and all this stuff but you know i think that for me what it means to be an audiophile is to experience music on another level um and what i mean by that is you know you can listen to music uh, 
ton of different ways. You can stream it. You can listen to it on the radio in your car. You can listen to it on a CD in your car. You can listen to it through a Crosley turntable, or you can listen to it through, you know, speakers way bigger and bigger, better than these, you know. So there's all these different levels. Now, when you're listening to a music through your headphones, like just regular headphones, I'm not talking about like audio file, but you're streaming it off your phone or whatever. What you're doing is you're focusing on that song, and you're focusing on the uh, the presentation of the song, what's in the song, the words, the melody, all that stuff. When you put a record on, like an audio file record on this system that took so long to put together and, and, and it's got really great components, you experience that song in a totally different way or you experience that album and the sound in a totally different way. Like I'm not a huge classical guy, but like I just put, just put this on. This is a, a legendary classical record. This is the classic records press pressing uh, phenomenal sounding classical record but as i got uh you know this system together i i, auto, I just wanted to listen to jazz and classical and like I, I mean i put some rush moving pictures leads up on two dark side of the moon all that stuff on to just kind of test it and hear it and it sounds incredible and earth shattering and all that stuff but not only do you hear that real power from the rock and roll but you can hear the vulnerability of like folk or singer songwriter or classical or jazz uh you know you can hear the littlest littlest details um and it just makes the music a more powerful experience for me and i think that's why we listen to vinyl anyways is because you get more of an experience out of it but with with a system like this i mean as far my old system was great but this is a whole a totally different level totally it's almost a totally different thing um you, the hearing it like tonight, I, I uh, put on the Dark Side of the Moon MoFi and I laid on the ground in between the two speakers and cranked it up. And man, I just like, I'm like, I haven't done this since I was a kid. And I did it when I was a kid, but I haven't done this, really done this since I was a kid to where I just didn't have anything distracting me. I had the lights off and was just taking that music in. And it was just like, the, the <laughs> laying on the ground and literally I could feel uh, the music sh shaking the whole room. You know, it was amazing. But uh, anyways, so another thing I really like about it is, you know, I, as I'm going through and I'm listening to it, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, I've got the audio file pressing of this, or I've got Herbie Hancock uh, Headhunters, and I've got, I've got you know, the Allen Brothers, all their MoFi's, and, and, and all these analog productions and stuff, and I'm pulling stuff, like, what, are, what this sounds like, what are, what that sounds like, and I'm pulling different things, and it's like I'm experiencing that album for the first time all over again. So um, it's been an exciting time for me. You know, I, I own a record store. And uh, it's important for me to keep my passion alive for records and for music and always be learning something. You know, it's been for the past couple of years a huge passion for me. I've been collecting like uh, hard rock, a uh, private press stuff, uh, and you know, putting that stuff on the system. It sounds good, it sounds great, but it it you can definitely tell that not as like not as much went into the mastering of these records and the production of these records to where they don't sound anything like you know like a boston record even like a regular boston record but especially you know the audiophile pressings it's just it's a different thing it depends on what you want to experience and so it's a different branch of collecting for me you know i uh in the past i would watch you know mike from the in groove and uh, you know michael firmer and and those guys talk about audio file pressings and all that stuff and i'm like man that's just over my head it's something that's cool but i don't have a huge passion for it but now that i got this system i've been binge watching those videos man just like like learning more about all that stuff and and how they're cut and and which records to get and which labels and all that stuff i mean you know so it's another thing that that gives me knowledge and um, keeps my passion going and keeps me excited and and man I just um, I'm super grateful that you know this is the type of thing that kind of fell in my lap I, I was not planning on upgrading my gear I was perfectly happy with the way that it was before but when I went in and I found this stuff and it all I've always wanted Macintosh gear I mean every, I think everybody probably does but uh, and the turntable, I wasn't familiar with it, but I did a ton of research on it. Um, you know, from the first time I saw it to when I bought it, it was maybe a, a month and a half or so. And so I had some time to do some research on all this stuff and 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 it, the way that it all came together. You know, um, I was thinking about the other day, like the guy that owned the stuff that pa unfortunately passed away. I think he was like 82, and uh, 
you know, he bought this turntable with the, you know, with the intention to pair it with all this other gear. He bought this receiver to pair it with everything else. So everything was put together intentionally. This guy was, you could tell he was brilliant when it came to that stuff. And, uh, and the fact that it's all still together is really cool. And I think, you know, I mean, I didn't know this guy, but after I got all this stuff and I found all the owner's manuals and he took notes and put them on sticky notes and put on all stuff, you know, you get to know somebody that's already passed that way. It's just... It's kind of a powerful thing to see, but I think he would be happy to know that all of his gear and his hard work stay together and it's going to be enjoyed by me and my family for a long time. Uh, you know, so I think that's a really cool thing for me. So anyways, thanks for listening to me talk about my gear and, and my excitement with it and, and just kind of where, you know, if you watch my videos, you might get a lot more videos about audio file stuff. You might get more videos about how pressing sound versus that or whatever. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go from here, but I really... Um, I'm excited that it all worked out and it happened. And uh, I've just, if you follow me on Instagram, you're probably getting annoyed with uh, with all the videos that I'm posting on all the different records that I'm spending on it every night. But uh, but anyways, so if you haven't, hit the subscribe button on here. Hit the subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram um, and check out some of my other videos. If you haven't seen my last video about the gear that I got, make sure to check that out as well. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. We will see you next time.